You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Following an administrative regulation from the Kentucky Board of Education requiring school districts to create a formal policy regarding corporal punishment, every school district in the Commonwealth has now banned the use of corporal punishment. We have been advocate, advocating at the uh, legislative level for quite a few years to get corporal punishment banned um, in the entire Commonwealth um, via legislation. What actually ended up happening was the Kentucky Department of Education um, earlier this year decided to um, put an administrative rule in place that basically uh, made districts create formal policies around whether they would allow for corporal punishment or not. And when school districts were um, kind of made to discuss it, made to think it through, made to make you know a decision one way or the other, they all chose to um, ban it in their schools. In the 2022-2023 school year, there were five incidents of corporal punishment, all within Pike County. Studies have linked corporal punishment to increased behavioral problems, increased aggression and defiance, and increased risk of mental illness in adolescents and drug and alcohol abuse. We don't believe that schools should be a place um, of you know, fear for students. Um, we think that students should be able to trust the adults that they're around at school and, um, you know, Corporal punishment does not uh, encourage trust between the person who's inflicting it and the person who's receiving the, the corporal punishment. And, you know, like I, you know, like I said before, it's associated with the kind of the things that, that, you know, we're trying to work against. You know, I think a lot of teachers are really well-meaning and they're trying to correct behavior, but actually in the long term, this, you know, increases misbehavior and increases in aggression. And um, that's not good for any Kentucky students, including the students that um, have to be around these children who are experiencing these, experiencing these things. So, um, you know, we just don't think it has a place in, in our schools. And I think uh, students will be will healthier. And um, over the long term, I think that, you know, it will help behavior improve, actually. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.